Great news for XRP and XRPL fans as tokenization comes to town. We're also going to talk about the SEC. Oh, they got to show us their documents. That's right. The judge is thinking the SEC is not playing fair. We're also going to talk about Big Charles, Camp ADA out there, and XRP price action at the end. Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. Hola, dudes and chicks, and yes, you know I got some good news. But before that, we know that your comments come first. Hot, spicy, maybe I'll share it in the next video. Trick starts us off and says, Welcome back, Klaus. Glad to see the gummy bears didn't get you for real. I just came back from Colorado, a little altitude training. Way too many bear interactions this year. Way worse than the last few years, too. Lawrence Williams says, Charles Hoskinson has lost it. Oh, just wait, girlfriend, because that means what? Charles is going to lose it even more. Cenobite Toast Crunch says, Larson is definitely playing shorts. Why else would he place his bets on her? Personal feelings? Nah, money talks. You're right, money does talk. Gwen Lindell says, they're playing both sides. I might be agreeing with you there. Bitcoin's in at 54,523. ETH is 2020. Seriously. What happened to ETH, everyone? I mean, it's price action has been kind of meh. Uh, ETH ETFs were kind of a meh. Eh, not good, right? BNB close to 500. They're holding it pretty strong. Soul at 130. Next up for ETFs, or is the market not giving an F about Soul? XRP at 52.7. We're going to talk price at the end because there is some support action going on along with some good news. But you know we got to do it. Charles Hotchkinson. No, 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 no. This one. Cardano founder reveals game-changing plan for unmatched scalability. Listen to this. Laos is going to provide a dramatic increase in Layer 1 performance, complemented by roll-ups coming to Pluto's V3 Hydra. These three things together make for the best in class in scalability. Okay, cool. Got a tweet here to share. As always, any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below. This is, okay, good. Does it do anything for price? No. No. I mean, look at look at ADA. 33.9 cents. What does scalability matter if no one's using your shit? And I think that's the big problem. People are all talking about, well, a million transactions a second. Have you looked on the ledgers of a lot of these places? They, they don't have scalability issues. They got usability issues because no one ain't using the ability. Arthur Hayes closes short position, hints at an upcoming rally, but oh, no, no, no. Hayes is shorting the market even more. However, he said earlier today that he closed his position as BTC might even rally for the next few days, but the rally was short-lived. At this time, BitMEX's co-founder Arthur Hayes said he opened a short position and was aiming at a price tag of under 50000 Ooh, not good. So you got some bigs out there, some whales saying, looking to go down. Now... SEC getting wrecked. Oh, I like this. Judge orders the SEC to produce the key documents in the Coinbase case. Uh, remember, too, that they wanted an expedited ruling with this case. So what's going to be awesome about this compared to the RIP one, this one's going to go fast. All right. The RIP one got dragged out. And look, we're still not even getting like the final resolution, right? Dude, they're going to go through this so quick with that expedited ruling. According to court records, the judge accepted Coinbase's request in a limited matter. The judge mandated the production of the recording of the documents under specific constraints. Essentially, what happened was, was Coinbase said, look, judge, we think that the SEC is being unfair and they're treating each crypto company differently. And the judge is like, you know what? I think you're right. So you know what? SEC start producing some documents. We do. We need to see this consistency because there's been so many stories out there from crypto CEOs, crypto legal teams where they're like, look, they're, they're not making any sense because they told our friends one thing and now they're telling us something else. Greewell thanked the court on social media platform X. I still like calling it Twitter. X is for chicks I don't like anymore. That's a big fucking list. Compelling the SEC to produce evidence. Today, Judge Fallia ruled in a request to compel the SEC to provide necessary information for the defense of the case. In short, the court ordered the SEC to produce significant discovery. We thank the court for its careful consideration. Love it. Love it. So let's find out if the SEC has been nice playing fairly in the playground. I doubt it. Gary's the kid that pisses in the sandbox and then it clumps up gross. Gary Bear, don't pee your pants. XRP Ledger launched tokenized U.S. Treasury bills through OpenEat and Collab. Announced Wednesday, 
The collab would bring a short to U.S. government. You're like, Klaus, I know it's not Wednesday. I know I've been gone. I've been Colorado. I still got to fill you in on the news. I was gone. I was doing high altitude training for a week. You know I like to do stupid races, and the best rate place to do stupid stuff is in Colorado. Announced Wednesday, the collaboration will bring short-term U.S. government debt obligations back by Department of Treasury to XRPL users. Further, it paves the way for broader institutional adoption and digitized finance. The tokenization of T-bills onto XPL is a demonstration of how institutional access to DeFi is being driven by the tokenization of real-world assets. Now... We've seen other platforms out there do tokenization, and it hasn't directly helped out the price, right? But it has helped out with their 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 positivity, their their notoriety, their trust, their their engagement with more markets and new markets. Is it at the speed that a lot of people would like? No, God, no, oh my God, do not tell me that we are we are doing good with adoption quickly. Oh, don't, 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 girlfriend, do that. But you start adding up these little things here and there, and it adds up to more substantiability, more more just prominence, more positivity, and that's what this market really needs. So I think this is kind of cool. Is it going to lead to price action? I don't think so. Notoriety? Yeah. Helps out, doesn't it? Price action, look, obviously market doesn't react on it. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on. It's all about macros right now. I mean... You can you can watch the people draw the fancy triangles and all the arrows and the fibs and the bands and all that crap. But the reality is the macros are kind of weird right now. And the world is in like this pivotal place. We're like, are we good financially or are we screwed? We got a lot of debt, but can we operate without keeping the debt up? And and But our rates are high. And so like we are. We're in this weird spot, man. And I think the problem that we have is the election is going to be in November. And people in the world, in the way that like a huge economic power tilts, is going to be hanging in the balance because obviously one side is very different than the other. So the economic policies, global policies, right, and the way we globally deal with things and the way money flow gets affected globally is going to be very heavily influenced by U.S. politics, which sucks. I know. I get it. I live in the U.S. So price action is going to be determined by retail action. And right now, retail is sitting here saying, yo, jobs are kind of meh. We still are paying a lot for everything, aren't we? I don't care what country you live in. You're paying a lot. I'm paying a lot. Jobs are kind of meh. The government's all pissing away our stuff. And until that starts pivoting around, risk assets, like what you see up on the screen right here, are going to be under some pressure. But there is and there are people building. There is a lot of positivity out there, but that positivity is getting smothered by a lot of nasty retail consumer economic power driven news. Now I get it. I get it. I get it. Scalability is important, but let's be real too here. The biggest problem isn't scalability. The biggest problem is we're not seeing the usability. And until we start seeing some buildings, some, some projects out there that really start grasping more people, like the big raw numbers of people, you're not going to see a lot of these projects moving on development news because there's just not a lot of people out there using it. I just saw a story recently about how Stellar's uh, adoption for one of their wallets in Argentina is growing. And I think that's freaking awesome. Argentina market, number of people growing didn't lead to price action because it's not big. We're not talking like T-Mobile big or Bank of America big. We're still talking like really, really small isolated groups and small isolated wins. So without getting the juice from the dev side of things, we're going to have to get the juice from the global economy. And the global economy right now is sitting on the fence. One foot over here is thinking, oh, things are going to suck. It's going to get worse. The other foot over here is like, I think we're doing pretty good. But you know what happens when you straddle the fence? The fence pole goes right up your... Mm. And it doesn't feel good because the longer you sit on the fence, the more time just goes by and you're just being idle and you never get time back. And time in this industry is important because I think a lot of people are sitting out there losing patience, which is what? A waste of their time. But I want to hear from you. Is tokenization going to do it? Is that going to be the big trend that saves crypto? Do we got to wait for economic conditions? And more importantly, are those economic conditions are going to be good or not? 
Happy Christmas, sad Christmas, I don't know, Santa Claus. Still early to tell. We got that election coming up here and anything can happen. But I've got my passport ready because I'm going somewhere. Catch you cool cats later. Choo-choo.